Hello, and welcome to those endless mysteries. Today I'm going to be looking into a sighting of a Wendigo. This is one of the most frightening creatures that I have ever looked into. These creatures are pure evil, while maybe even being zombie-like creatures. At least that's what I think, anyway. Just the way the witnesses describes them, with bones and intestines hanging from their bodies, while they are able to move and chase people down. These are some of the scariest and strangest sightings. While I always keep an open mind while I'm reading these accounts, I do realize that sometimes people's perceptions can be influenced by many things. But with many of these types of sightings, people reaccounts are of a traumatic experience. So let's get into the sighting. The witness says that it was November the 10th of 2018, at approximately 10.30 that evening, that he was driving on a nearly empty road, saying that it was a cool evening while being clear. Now, as he was coming up to a stop sign, there was a car stopped well before the stop sign up ahead. As the witness was slowing down and coming to a stop behind it, when he suddenly noticed this deer-like creature, saying that this thing was standing on its hind legs. Now that he was stopped, he knows why the other car was stopped. He figures that whoever was inside the other car was watching this creature as well. He says that this creature seemed to have smooth skin, with no fur that you would expect to see on a deer-like creature. The skin was gray in color, while well, he said that you could see this creature's ribs through its skin. So already this sounds sick or very strange looking to me. No fur. So could this creature have what's known as the mange or some other disease? Or is it a true sighting of a wendigo? The witness next said that this creature's head was a skull with no flesh that he could see upon it. While it did have short antlers coming out of its skull. Okay, that's wild. So this creature looked to be dead while standing on two legs. But yet it was moving as if it was still alive. See, these stories sometimes confuse me. He also said that this creature's arms were bent in an unusual way. Not like a deer's at all, but opposite of that. So I know that a deer's legs would bend down at its joints. But from what I get from the witness here, is that this creature's bent upwards or outwards? More like a human's arms, I would think. So that's another thing leading me to think he might have seen a Wendigo for sure which the head being a skull of a creature, did a lot also. So as the witness was watching this creature from his car, this creature went down on all fours, then started walking towards the wood line. The witness said that this creature didn't move like any other animal that he has ever seen. This creature would move both its front legs or arms, in front of itself, then looked to pull its back legs up. It truly walked like it was using its front legs as crutches or something. Wow, again, I have to say that this creature is a strange one for sure. I think that anyone seeing a creature looking like this would have to be completely terrified of what they were seeing. Then walking and moving this strangely, it would have to really mess with a person's mind. As the witness continued to watch this thing disappear into the wood line, he was in shock of what he had just witnessed. So I guess I would be also. I don't know what I would have done seeing something that horrendous. So the witness said that as he turned back to face the road, that the car in front of him was already gone not knowing just how long he watched this creature for, or when the other car had left. So this was one of those terrifying and strange sightings, 
that I come across all the time. So what did this witness truly witness? Was it some kind of zombie deer? Or was it a wendigo out looking for its next victim? Like I said, the wendigo seems to be pure evil. Even said to be able to possess people, turning them into flesh-eating monsters. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this sighting of a wendigo. So till next time, stay safe and have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can keep up with all of our latest videos. And thanks for watching those endless mysteries.